So I have a device here, and let's check some basic connectivity. So the first thing I want to do is a frame call. And I'll just do a test call, and this is to use the camera, just to show you that you can video conference from it. Now, I'm waiting for a Skype, or, you know, I'm still trying to get to the point where I can do a video call with Skype. I can't, you know, it doesn't really understand the Arco's hardware yet. I can do, but I, I will show you, I can, you know, have phone conversations just fine. Um, but on, you know, as far as video calls, I can use Fring to make a video call, so I'm going to make a test video call here with Fring. Let me log in here. Alright. And let's do a test call. And I'm going to set it to a video call. Alright. And you can see, that's the camera on me. And let me turn this up just a little bit. So I'm just going to do a, a fring test call real quick. And put that in silent mode. And testing, one, two, three. Testing, 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 you and me. Alrighty. Alright, so that's Fring. Now I'm going to really piss my wife off. Watch this. But this will show you the Skype functionality of it. I'm just going to log in over Skype. And make a phone call. I probably shouldn't do this, but hey, only once. And let me make a call at home here. And I'll flip the device. And I'm just calling my house. Now, what about rooting the device? Rooting the device is easy. Um, you don't need any special hacks or software. Arcos makes it easy. They, they sell a development uh, kernel that you can reflash into the, you know, the, non, the NAND memory. Um, and basically it'll give you root access as well as the ability to dual or triple or even quadruple boot. And on devices without a lot of storage, that might not be such a great idea, but I have 250 gigs of storage on this puppy. I haven't even halfway filled up my hard drive yet, and I've loaded it up with hundreds of movies, thousands of MP3s, um, several thousand PDF files and books, and I still can't fill the sucker up. Games and emulations and all that, so I'm thinking, yeah, you know, why not repartition it and put two or three different operating systems on there? So it's kind of cool because you can, you know, I want to keep Android on there and use it as a media device primarily, and, you know, communications device I can tether it to my cell phone or GPS or my GPS, um, you know, Bluetooth receiver, but I'd also like to be able to put Angstrom Linux, or maybe even Ubuntu or other flavors of Linux on here. So they make that easy. There is a caveat, you know, buyer beware, or, you know, the person who does this beware, and that is you void your warranty. If anything happens to it, that your warranty that you normally get, you can't send it back to Arcos. They will not fix it for free. So I busted my warranty, and, you know, don't, you know, if you're thinking, well, you know, I'll just lie, or I'll just try to reflash it and erase any sign that I modified the device it, they actually stamp the device with a digital ID and so once you do this it won't play media with digital rights which I don't care because I buy CDs and DVDs and things and I just rip them myself I don't you know I don't really care that it doesn't play media with without digital rights and I don't really care that it voided my warranty um, I'm you know banking on the fact that hopefully I can repair it myself um, and if not oh well it was worth it just to get root privileges and by that I mean you know you don't really get you can get a command prompt without root, but you don't get the full access to your commands. Like you know, something as simple as ping, 
if I don't root the device, I, I can't even get echo replies on a ping. And I, I wanted to install a lot of, you know, port scan and ping sweep and network testing tools. So I wanted my root access and other things like a Java virtual machine and so forth. So it, once you install it, you go to the Arcus website and they'll, sh you know, they tell you how to do it. Of course, you click on, you know, a disclaimer stating that you waive all your warranty rights. And the reason is, is you know, I understand. They deny you root privileges on purpose to keep you basically from harming yourself or harming the device. You, know, you can make it unbootable. You could burn it up. Um, you could overclock it. And if you overclock it too much and too high, you know, what's going to happen? You're going to burn up the CPU and possibly the battery. So they're protecting themselves from getting too many warranty claims. But if you trust that you know what you're doing or that you won't brick the device, come on, you know you want root so bad. It's worth it. It's worth it. Give up the warranty. But um, anyway, if I hold down the power button here, what I want to do is uh, actually to bring up the multi-boot menu and to get access to root, two different versions, I'm going to hold down this and hit the power button while I'm pressing down on the volume button. I'll try to get my lousy camera to focus on that. If you can't see, probably can't. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm holding down volume and I'm hitting the power button at the same time. All right. So now it's going to boot. Looks like normal at first, but it'll take us to a multi-boot menu. And so as we install extra operating systems, they'll show up there. And if you didn't install that modification provided by Arcus, then you would not see this. Okay. And the first time through, I can go through, and that's the standard Android, and I, 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 that's without root. And most of the time, if I'm not, if I don't specifically need root privileges, I'll boot into this. Um, you know, again, I, I like. It's kind of like you know using sudo or su. I, I don't want to boot into the device's root unless I actually need root privileges. So. For a lot of things I'm doing, I just do that, and that way I'm, I'm kind of operating in protected mode. But when I need to do something, when I want to really, you know, play with something and mess around, I can go to root, and that's this developer edition here. And then also this menu here recovers, there's lots of sub-menus if I go here, and I can reflash the device and do all kinds of crazy stuff and install multiple operating systems and so forth. So this is basically my root, or rooted version of Android, it's got everything you know, the same apps and everything I have installed on the other Android, but this particular kernel, it's, you know, I'm, I'm getting root access to the Linux on my device. So I can do so many different cool things with root that I, I cannot do without it. Do you really need a year warranty? I don't know. I can't speak for you. I've only had the device for about a month. Less than a month. I hope it lasts a year. But I'm happy with it. So far. Alright, now the device is booted up in a rooted mode. And oh, by the way, I put Siptroid on here. I haven't really set up. I just set up a Google Voice account. I haven't really set up that. But you know, we've done Fring and Skype. But these are some network testing tools. And um, so you know, again, it's it's a media tablet. I use it. I really just wanted an e-reader, but now I watch movies on it. I play MP3s. I, you know, I've got VNC and RDP, so I can log into my servers. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to do that, let me find my VNC client. Here's Android VNC. And I'm going to log in to 13.13 over 5900, which is used to be TV and now is Frankenstein. I don't really have to rename it here, but while I'm at it, before I forget. Alright, so Frankenstein. And let me connect. And... And there looks like my kids are watching a Netflix movie, 1001 Rabbit Tales. Alright. Let me connect again here. Alright, so now I'm connected to Frankenstein. They're watching a movie on Netflix. And let me me go up here. <laughs> so I'm connected there. Yes. <laughs> I was just I was just doing a VNC. All right, go go back to your movie. I'm just showing them VNC. Um, let me open a command. Prompt. This is a terminal emulator. Watch my foot. Now, if I had not booted into this version of the kernel, I wouldn't be able 
to do this. It still, I wouldn't be able to actually log in as root. But now it's completely unlocked. 207, 13, even down to like using a ping command. So let me go. Right now, is it, now I can use the ping command 1992071313. All right, I'm getting my echo replies there. Okay, and there's other tools and things. Let me um, let me kill that and kill view and see. Kill the background services here. And I'll kill system monitor. And some of the other. These are just my net stats using net stat. My net config. That's what's in my art cache. And do a domain scan, ping sweeps, port scans. Just some cool free tools there. I downloaded off the Android market. But a lot of them, you know, at least for the networking part, you can't get, you can't really use the tools unless you gain root access. Let's look at that Windows 7 machine hooked to my television. I'm going to do a port scan on it. Alright, let's see what kind of open ports we got there. I'm just doing a port scan on that particular IP. Ping suits, port scans, um, banner grabbing, you can do all kind of things. It's neat because, you know, yeah, I can do all this on my Nokia A900, but it's only, it's a three and a half inch screen. It's cool that it fits in my pocket, but it's getting really hard to focus my eyes on the screen. This is, it's small enough I can put it in a jacket pocket, and then not in my pants pocket like my phone. And, um, you know, in this case, everything's kind of locked down there, but, um, you know, I can actually see what it's doing. And of course, Wireshark, which needs root access. So I'm going to start capturing some traffic. I'll start capturing packets. And da 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 da. Let me stop. I don't want to fill it up with too much. And let me open that with the Shark Reader. All right. And notice that here's all of my information that I've gathered or gleaned from my network. So some really nice tools and things if you get root access. Um, there's other things, backup utilities, and there's just cool things you can do if you have root that you can't do if you don't have root. In addition to all those other wonderful things that an Android tablet does.